Good morning, Gisela Reis here, personal trainer and fitness instructor from the JCA. Hope everybody's doing well. I am teaching a yoga class and it will be for the hips, to open the hips and find freedom. Um, it will be a class mostly done on the ground. So all you're gonna need is your mat. And if you have pillows, I recommend at least two pillows and then if you have a yoga block, I'd like for you to use your yoga block if you have it. And if you don't have a yoga block, you can use just a nice, firm, thick book in, for assistance. So, as we come now to the floor, if you are joining this class, please come to the ground. And I'd like for you to just find yourself laying on the floor in a recline bound pose. So in this position, you're going to have your feet together like a butterfly and you can use the pillows to settle under your thighs to give you support, to give you assistance and you can use another pillow for your head. And on the way we're going to start, you're going to find yourself laying all the way down. Find yourself nice and comfortable laying on the floor. Take your left hand at your heart and take your right hand on top of your belly. Take a moment here to just settle, knowing that we are taking this time for yourself to heal, to rejuvenate. This will be a practice where we'll be opening our hips, finding freedom. And as you hear, start noticing the breath flowing in and out through your nose. Feel the rise when you feel the chest here expand, then the belly, and then when you slowly letting the air out, feel here your right hand slowly lowering as you feel the tunnel come back to the spine and your left hand also settle. Setting with the breath coming into the chest, into the belly. And then noticing here your right hand going down and then the left. Find gratitude right here that you're given this time to heal, to open, to rejuvenate. Noticing the breath rising from the left hand to the right. And noticing the breath releasing from the right hand to the left. And we'll do that two more times. Noticing your face, you're soft and relaxed, jaw relaxed. knowing that this is a healing practice where we will open as at the same time release. And if you feel here calm, your mind now release the hands out to your sides, palms facing up. If you like to see if those legs are relaxed enough and you wanted to try it without the pillows, you could take the pillows off to the sides and see if your legs are able to lower a little bit more. Not by trying, but just being present. And even if the legs don't feel quite comfortable yet and you still need to have the pillows, I want you to vision yourself here really releasing and giving into the gravity. Another nice inhale, expanding, feeling that breath, the Ujjayi breath coming through your nose, chest, belly, diaphragm expand to create room for the air. As you exhale, now feel here your abdominal releasing, chest relaxing, face relaxing. Go ahead and here, use your hands to help the legs to come in towards each other. And if you have a pillow for the head, I'd like for you to remove it, lower your head all the way down, and take your knee one at a time towards your chest, and just feel here your back pressed against the ground. You can do a little bit of a rocking side to side. Make sure here your back feels relaxed into the floor. 
and I'm gonna have you here now extend through your left leg, keeping the right leg in and flex here the left foot, pressing that leg firmly into the ground. Then think of drawing your shoulders to the floor as you use here the hands on top of your right leg to draw closer. And I want you to feel the energy through your left heel as you're pressing here your toes apart on the left foot and drawing here your right knee in slightly closer to your chest. And from there, you're going to slowly just circle the ankle on the right foot. Go around all the way. And as you feel that breath, go around the other way. And notice here as you're pressing through the left foot, that energy through the left leg, I want you to feel like you're pressing through the ball of the big toe on the ball of the feet on the left foot. So you can really feel the energy all the way through from the arch of the foot as you release and then from here I want you to take your left hand on top of the left hip and gently invite the right knee to the right as you're trying to invite it towards your right shoulder and then back to center and do that again open the right knee out towards the right shoulder and bring it back one more time open Bring it back. We're going to go into a gentle supine twist. The left hand goes on top of the right knee. Open your right arm out to the side. And now I want you now to invite here your right leg to the left. And as you do this, you're going to maintain the right shoulder down. Take a nice inhale, halfway through the stretch. When you exhale, you're going to try to go a little bit more into that rotation. Feel the abdominal engage towards the spine as you exhale. Snagging the abdominal in as you create the freedom to get that right leg over to the left. Exhale. Inhale. Now as you exhale, I want you to continuously roll into the left. The right arm is going to come above as you're going to now continue going and you're going to fold over. And as you do this, I want you to really feel like you're trying to flatten yourself down to the floor. The left arm is under you and you can support your head with your right hand and let, let the right knee be open to the side. So if you're doing an inner thigh here opener, you are facing down. The right leg is off towards the left. And you're just gently here doing it like I was a half frog here. Exhale, feel that open through also through the shoulder on the left. If that's too intense, you can also take that arm and face your body down flat with the right knee bent or keeping that arm under if that's okay. We're going to return yourself back to the floor. So you're going to bring the right arm around, open to the side. And I want you this time to open the right knee into a flat tree pose, which means your right knee is off to the side. The inside of the right foot is touching the inside of the left inner thigh. And you're just relaxed here. Exhale. Go ahead, extend your right leg. Notice the difference between both sides as you adjust yourself, your square. You might feel one side short and one side long. But for me, I'm feeling here my right side a bit shorter than my left, but the right hip is also more open. So we're gonna balance things up. Go ahead, take your left knee now closer to your chest and the hands on top, and you're gonna draw the knee in closer to your body. Flex to the right foot and here, Thinking of the right ball of the foot on the right foot, pressing out in a way as you draw the left knee in close and slightly tuck the chin in so you can feel the length and the back of the neck as the shoulders get pressed down. Circle here the left foot around. And find a nice good breath. Then you reverse, go the other way. Very good, keeping that energy through the right leg, reaching out and away. I'm gonna have you now take the left, the right hand on top of the hip, so your left knee can go now towards your left shoulder, so you're trying to get it towards the armpit. And then you bring it back, inhale. Exhale, open to the side. Bring it back, inhale. Exhale, open to the side. And we're doing this very gentle. We don't want to force into anything. We just want to invite a new space, a new area towards the body. And every day 
Every single day is different, so you're going to do what feels right here, okay, for your body. Take your right hand across now over the left knee, open your left arm to the side, and now you're going to invite the left leg towards the right. So do it just gentle on the inhale, as you tell you when you go a little bit more, and try to bring your gaze over to the left. You might hear your back adjusting, mine just adjust right there. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, feel the release and letting that knee go across and across and across as you feel the squeeze through the abs and towards the spine. Letting this be nice and healing, not just physically, but too, also emotionally. We are feeling focused and relaxed. Now the left arm is going to come above and you're going to continue rolling. Now the left knee is going to go all the way out and here is where you can use the left hand for head support and feel here the left inner thigh get a stretch and the outside of the right shoulder, the rear deltoid on that right shoulder here get a stretch. Let's take a nice inhale, nice exhale and again if that swing test on the shoulder you can flatten yourself all the way down without having the right arm. From there, I'm going to have you return to the mat. So you're going to return to your supine, to your back, as you open the left knee to the side for flat tree pose. So letting here the left inner, the foot, the left foot touch the inside of the right inner thigh and relax yourself flat to the floor. Exhale. Extend the left leg. Now here, I want you to take the right leg to the sky and I want you to flex it. You're going to move it slightly away and exhale, bring it in. Now, if you have a towel or a strap, like a good strap, or even a belt, this will be very good for, for what we are doing here. So if you have this strap, you want to bring it around the foot, and you're just going to do a gentle back and forward with the breath. We're not forcing. We're just using the breath back and forward. If you have a towel, you can do a hand, nice long hand towel going across. And you just do this without feeling tension on your neck and shoulders. So if that's too, too, too much, you might need to back off a little bit and try to keep the hips here settled. And then you might find that you just need to breathe and hold it. If you can go a little bit closer, go a little bit closer. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now I want you to take that into your right hand because we've got the right leg here up. Take the left arm to the side and I want you to gently open the leg to the right. And as you do this, thinking you're keeping your shoulders still flat, maintain the left hip where it is as you open the leg to the right side. And then once you're there, you can bring the leg slightly down and slightly up closer towards your ear. Slightly down and slightly up. And if you happen to be flexible in this pose, as I am, you could even switch to your left hand and have the right arm in front and then drawing the, drawing the leg here closer to the head. And only if you feel, of course, comfortable. I'm just going a little bit deeper for those at home that can go a little bit deeper through this stretch. And breathe. I'm going to slowly release it. And now, notice I'm bending my knee. I want you to bend that right knee. As we're gonna slowly here draw it towards the left side. And I want you to start with a bend. And as you do this, don't let your right hip bike. Keep the right hip down. And then draw, think of like drawing the hip down towards the end of the mat, where the bottom left foot is. And then draw the leg slightly across. And you do a little bending and extension, nice and slow as you inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. You can even think of that right big toe drawing down as you're going across. We'll do a one more just with this little bend and extension and then I'll, I'll like you to hold it. Trying to keep that right hip right where it is and breathe. Don't think of going past, it's not a supine twist, it's just the leg, just that right leg going across. One more breath here, feel your abdominal pulling into the spine as you exhale. 
and we gently release. And as you release, I want you to bend the knees, both feet flat. Notice the big difference between your right leg and left leg. You should feel a tremendous amount of relief and openings and freedom through the left. As we're gonna go now to the left foot, go ahead and use your strap or your towel, and you're gonna to try to extend and bend. As you do this, really feel your back aligned. Feel that right leg pressing through, flexing the bottom foot. Breathing in, breathing out, inhale, exhale. We're going to slowly move the leg slightly back and forth. Remember, we're not forcing, so if you feel too, too much, maybe even just hold it. Don't even move it anywhere, just holding it and try to feel here the back of your Spine here aligned. And then we're going to have the left hand onto your outer or strap. The right hand will go on your right hip. And you're going to slowly open and then inviting the leg to the left. It might be even easier for you to take the right arm to the side to make sure you're not rolling left. And then you're going to find where you can hold the left leg off to the side. And this is where you're going to go a little bit uh, down and slightly up. Inhale, exhale, with that left foot. And if you do have the flexibility to go more, take the right hand to it, and then try to bring the left arm in front of the top of the right hip to bring here the left leg closer to your head. And you can just breathe into your fullest. And what works for you today? Remember, the fullest might not be what it was perhaps what was six months ago. It might be completely different now. And that's okay. Okay, do not do any judgment. Do allow yourself to just relax and be present. We're going to slowly release. And as you do that, bend that left knee. And we're going to open the left arm to the side. So right here, I want you to slowly cross the leg to the right. The left leg goes to the right. You're going to step by, do a gentle bend, and extend. And thinking of drawing that left hip down towards the right foot. Left hip down towards the right foot. Draw away from your ear. As you bend and extend the left leg, nice and slow. Those, this is for your IT bend. So you're going to feel a sensation going all the way through your back into the outside of the hip, all the way to the outside of the left leg, the outside of the left calf, towards here, your left big toe, as you try to draw that left big toe down. And you might find you can go a little bit more. And once you find here, you're full of something to just hold and breathe. Create space by pulling the abdominal in. Long spine as you do this. Think of drawing that left hip away from your shoulder down to the foot. Bend the left knee. Good. We're going to slowly release. Bend both knees with the feet on the ground. And just notice how your back feels. We're going to do here and bridge. Adjust the heels here closer to your hips. Hands to the sides. Notice how much better already your back is feeling. We're going to create even more of a freedom. Pressing down to the heels and the ball of your feet as you now start to lift up your hips up in the bridge. Once you go to the bridge, you can choose to take those hands here into the and rock those shoulders closer together so the arms are long, pressing down. And then as you press, thinking that you have a block between the thighs as you're trying to snug and draw the knees towards the toes as you lift and keeping the abs engaged and try to go up into that extension. Lift, lift, lift. Make sure there's plenty of space through the back side of your neck. Releasing the hands and roll your spine down one bone at a time of the spine, going down slow, one vertebra at a time, as you connect yourself back slowly to the floor, and then release. I'm going to have you hold the back side of the legs, 
And now we need to roll back and forward as you come to a sitting. So tuck your chin in, roll up, inhale back, and roll back. One more, just like that. And when you come up to a sitting, let your sole of the feet come together and try to lengthen up the spine. We have that recline pose, the not recline because we're sitting, but we have the bound pose now, the sitting, and holding on to the ankles. I'm doing this facing the camera window. You could just stay where you were. And just think of now lifting through the spine. So as you're holding your ankles, don't think so much of lowering the knees, but think more so of sitting tall, sitting bones into the mat, thinking shoulders down, relaxed, chest here guiding forward so you can feel tall, 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 tall through the spine. Think of your chin here relaxed, no tension on the neck. You can even bow your head a little bit, up and down, side to side. And just letting the gravity here, allowing those knees to kind of settle, but not by thinking too much of, of them. Just knowing that those hips will open here as our goal, more so natural. Now from here, I want you to take both of those legs behind you, come to a nice stable top. And as the hands here are under the shoulders, I want you to now find your downward dog by drawing your toes here under, lift up through the hips, exhale, let the head relax between your arms, bend the knees just slightly so you can feel the extension through the spine and drawing those hips away, 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 away. From there, gently soft both knees, take both hips to the right, noticing those heels sway to the right, and then sway your heels over to the left to go to the other side. And just do that one more time. Good, come back to center, pressing one heel down at a time, gentle. Feel that through the calves. Then we're gonna bring both knees to the mat so you can now slowly bring yourself up and we're gonna have here your right leg step forward. As you step forward, maybe bring your fingers forward to make sure that you are going far, far, far enough where your, hip, your hips can lunge forward without letting your right knee pass over the toes. Now here, you could use your block for support and letting here yourself settle with your hips down. Try to use your right hand onto the thigh and coming up. This could be your pose right here, just letting that left hip relax forward. If you feel pretty balanced, let those arms come all the way up into crescent. Feel here that you're lifting up through the waist, through the fingertips. There's the thumbs here point back. Try to even slightly engage the left glute. And as you do that, feel the left front of that hip open. We're going to take both hands here down. And I'd like for you to take the right arm inside of the, of the uh, right leg and move your foot to the right side here just slightly. And I want you to extend here the back leg. So take those left toes here to tender. Try to extend the left knee back behind you. And right from there, just feel here that you're trying to bring your chest forward and shoulders back with extension to your left heel. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Good, settle the left knee down. Now here you're gonna open the knee to the right as you go to the outside of the right foot and bring it back. So if you've never done this before, I'm gonna show this in a diagonal so you understand what the foot is doing. You're gonna take that knee out to the right and then you bring it close to the shoulder. To the right, notice that you go into the outside of your right foot and then you bring the right big toe back down. Do that one more time. Good. From here, I want you to now slowly look back. As you open the knee, take the right hand just slightly on the thigh, and then you're gonna take a twist as you look back behind you over your shoulder. Abs engage, exhale. And we're not pushing the leg out to the right, we're just doing a little invitation without any aggression. We are trying to be gentle through the body. And then you're gonna bring that right leg in and right from there, you're going to try to flex the left foot up. And sometimes the hamstring will cramp, but hopefully he will not. And you can just stay here and resist. And then you can take the right hand down 
and maybe reaching for the back left foot. Other options, which I will demonstrate here, is taking the towel under the left ankle with the left hand on it, and as you bring yourself forward, the left leg comes in. Once you're there, your other option would be taking the right hand on, left hand down. And then you're trying to bring your uh, left foot in, right shoulder to your right thigh. If you don't need the towel, you'll have the hand on it. And I want you to slowly here, this is where we could go deep, but if you have that oh, flexibility to go, or if you feel like you are ready to go, you could try to get your right shoulder to the inside of the right knee as you exhale, feel that left foot come in. And I'm noticing I'm flexing that, that back left foot. You can just stay with the stretch where you are if you find that you find the, the challenge that is enough for you. Or other options here would be to come up. So I'm returning my left hand back to the left foot. The right hand can be there for support. If you feel too much on the bottom knee, which it can happen, take a pillow, depending here how soft your floor is, take a pillow in the left knee to take that pressure off the joint. And so once you're there, Flex again that left foot, and you're gonna take perhaps both hands, and as you do this, I want you to think of you lifting through the waist, opening through the chest, and feel the left foot drawing back as you relax the hips. I'm not pulling my left foot now in, I'm moving that foot back, which is opening the front of my body. Inhale, exhale. Then we'll slowly release. Go ahead here. We're going to move the props if you have it off to the side. We're going to go to lizard. So here you can use pillows or the block for the elbows to go down on your forearms. Try to perhaps extend the back leg for a deeper stretch. Other options is trying to get those elbows all the way to the floor. Once you're down, I'm going to show you from the, this point of view. Once you're down, and I'm actually going to do this with my left knee on the floor, you can take the right hand and try to bring it under the, ankle, under the right thigh through the ankle to come forward where the hands might meet. Also, if you're looking for more of a sensation, extend the back left leg. Now think almost like you're trying to put a back back on. As you're not trying to draw the knee away now, you're actually trying to keep the leg closer to you, to your body. As you now relax the head, breathe, and finding here that breath to help you through this new, perhaps, sensation, your new uh, opening moment that you are getting here. Settle the back knee and come up. Now we are going to the monkey pose and so I'm going to show you different variations how to get there. But as we're coming now back to the running man after the lizard, draw your right hip back. So notice this right hip wants to pike. I want you to relax it down towards the left heel. Okay. I want you to feel the inhale as you feel again that ball of the foot on the right foot drawing forward. Feel the spine lengthen. And then as you exhale, I want you to just slowly allow yourself to settle over towards that right leg. Nice full breaths. From here you can, working on the twist, going towards the right. This is a different variation. Again, draw that right hip back. And then we're going into the monkey pose. So here, what happens, we are doing a split. We are trying to separate that right heel out. Now, as you're doing this at home, I want you to use any props that you may have, like pillows can be the two of them. And what you can do to have them assist you is pull them under your leg so you can slowly settle into your pillows. Or if you have the block, it can be the block under the right thigh. Once you're there, you're trying to square your body, or I should say here, your hips. So take the left toe under and try to 
bring both of all of the toes down, that will have your heel facing up, which is the ideal because you don't want the leg to be turned out, okay? Now, once you're there, I want you to play with the rotation of that front foot. So I'm going to turn this this way so you can see a little again. We're going to take the foot to the right, to the left. So you turn it in to the right, to the left. So this will help you work through the splits. Even if you ever never <laughs> done this before, this is something you can practice on. You can save this series, this class, and do it on your own, nice and slow. Even if you just try it once a week, you'll see that you will get more flexibility through the hamstrings and through your hips to open, to go farther in the position. Now in my case, I don't need the pillows, but if you need this pillows, go please, please stay. We're going to now slowly inhale, feel the spine align. So again, we're trying to invite the left hip forward and the right hip back, okay? So once you're there, I want you to now try to get the right hand to the back side. You might find that you need both hands on the ground and that's okay. But those that can get the hands free, then take the left hand to the outside of the right hip. And now you're really trying to square yourself forward. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. You can gently do a little bit of a bounce forward. Try to release any tension off your neck. We're gonna slowly come out from here. So go ahead, take the weight back. Hand, the right hand inside, right leg back. Shell pose, and I want you to notice the big difference between your right leg and the left as we will balance everything through the other side. Exhale. Notice your back here relax to those legs, just settling. Ready to switch sides. So we're starting with the crescent. So we have here now the left foot forward. Letting those hips move to the front. Use any props here to help you support as you're trying to get here that left foot uh, forward enough where you don't pass the knee over your ankle. Draw, draw the right hip forward this time, okay? So right from here, I'm going to face you again. We've got the hip opening to the side, back and forward. So take the left arm through the left leg. We're first coming up the crescent, coming up all the way through the hips. Then if you can let go, like bring those arms all the way up, thumbs back, reach through the front of the body. Try to here feel tall through the waist as you reach. Feel nice inhale, nice exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, both hands here come down. Take the left arm inside of that left leg. Try to settle through your hands. And we're gonna go out to the side. So you're gonna open the left knee to the outside and then plant the big toe back down. Open, bring it back. And you might find that the range of motion may not be as much and that's okay. You're just trying and building up for what you can. Exhale and back and open. Now we start trying to stay there. And you're going to start gently here as you use the left hand on. You're going to spiral to the left. Exhale, rotation, abs engage. And you're not trying to push open, but more so away. It's almost like trying to create a space away from the leg to look back. Good. Then we come back. Good. From there, you're gonna take the leg in front, back to where you were, shift back, toes to the sky. Plant it again to the front, and I wanna do this right here before we move on. So take the hands inside, settle through the hips, and then try to perhaps use the blocks for your elbows or bring those elbows all the way down to the floor, relaxing the weight of the head. The left arm can come from the back side. Remember what we did before, you can do the back, back, under. The hands can perhaps meet. Try to, not relate, try to not tense on your neck, so trying to release through your neck. And then if you can extend through your back leg, the right toes here come up, extend it back, and breathe.
finding balance. Settle the back leg, standing. Good. Now we're going to extend that front leg. So I'm going to show this back from the side view. We are going to draw your left hip back, creating that pike, drawing that left hip back, lengthening through the spine. The right hand here will stay. Add a gentle twist to the left, open the left arm. Exhale. As the left hand comes down, we are going to feel the spine lengthen. Inhale. Exhale, gently settle down. So pull the shoulders, release away from the ears. Settle into that left leg. Sometimes we notice that one side is way different than the other. We're not symmetric, even though the ideal would be that we more than ideally balanced from the right and left. But just stay mindful to not overdo it. So just go wherever it feels right. This is where we're going into that split monkey pose. So if you need to add those pillows under to give you support or your block, you're going to settle now yourself as far as you can uh, with your left leg in front. Trying to lengthen. Good. And then from there, this is where we're going to do the toe out. So the leg rotates to the left, rotates in, rotates left, rotates in, rotates left. In, and then you go back to your balance where the foot is forward. With your right toes here under, because you want to make sure those hips are square. You can try to get now the left hand behind the left leg, right hand crossed over, feeling those hips square forward. So the right hand comes over to the outside of the left thigh. And as you get deeper, if you have two pillows, you can go down to one. I know my left side is a little bit more sensitive to this type of stretch, so I have, I'm gonna maintain the pillow there, but if you don't need the pillow, you can release it. And then over the last here, movement and stretch, I'd like for you to relax over the left leg. Try to not tense through your neck or shoulders. And each breath is the opportunity to really let go. Finding the freedom that we're looking for. And then from coming out, you can just shift the weight back. Take the props if you have them. Bring that left leg all the way back. Find the shell pose, noticing that you are more in balance with the right and left. And let here your whole body settle. Exhale. Good. We're gonna roll yourself up, finding here a nice downward dog, and then I want you to walk your hands back and feel yourself settling over the legs with your knees bent. We are going now to turn yourself towards the side, so both legs are off to the side, okay? So from here, I want you to just feel both feet pressing on the outside of the feet and hands around the elbows, and just let the torso there settle and relax. You might need a wider the feet more to get lower through your body. If you are someone that is flexible through the hamstrings, you can adjust the feet closer, which will make it harder to fold those elbows in. Inhale and exhale. You can try to hold on to the ankles and letting the head tuck in so your chin comes to the chest. And then we can try to get yourself closer to your body through those legs. And then as you plant the hands, I want you to widen the feet if they were closer. And we're gonna turn the toes out as we're going side to side. And as you do this, I want you to exhale, let your hips go down. So this is something that is difficult for you. You can use your block to sit on and the block can set up higher so you can give you more freedom through your hands. And then letting the hands come free. We're going to do that again to your left. So if you need a block, the block will come into you. The toes will come up. Try to settle through those hips. Go again from side to side. 
If you need more time, you can do this slower, or you can pick up the pace as you slowly go from one side to the other. And as I'm going back to the right, I want you to turn your body to the right around. So walk your hands around, keep turning, keep turning. That left foot will pivot. I'm gonna to go to the outside of the left foot, turn the right toes to the right, and then exhale with your hand here. You're gonna exhale, lower your left hips down, and turn to the right side. So feel that nice stretch through the right leg and the outside as the knee goes out to the side and then perhaps move it to the left. You're going to come up and go to the other side. So over here, you're going to continue rotating, rotate, rotate, go to the outside of that right foot, turn the left toes to the left and exhale over the right hip so you can pivot to the left and inviting the left knee out and away. Exhale. As you return, this time I'd like for you to practice the nice little squats with just the feet. So you might need a block there to sit on. You can be set up high, the block, and just feel here, spine up straight. You can even hold on to the ankles or have the hands in the prayer. If you don't need the block, those hips will be down. And if for those that have the flexibility, I want you to try to actually snug those elbows in and then creating a traction of the elbows at the same time going out, long through the spine. As you close your eyes, feel that engagement from the pelvis up through the waist, up through the spine, shoulders relax and breathe. Feel your shoulders back down into the hips. As the hands come to the mat, we're gonna go into frog, letting those legs go here off to the side. Now, if this is uncomfortable on the inside of the knees, you can put those pillows, one under each side of your knees, then letting the feet here be off to the sides. As you're gonna gently here, try to find yourself, come down, and you can use the block for your elbows as you come down, or you might be able to get those elbows all the way down. When you're here, think almost like you're trying to lift the sitting bones up as you shift the weight slightly back and forward, but don't let go of your abdominal. Keep your abs engaged, keep shoulders back, and then lifting through the same bones back towards the heels. Breathe in, breathe out. And you might find that perhaps those knees go slightly out a little bit more. Try to not tense through your neck. You might find support for your forehead with the double fist through the hands. Try to keep your feet here flexed. And then you don't have to be moving back and forward, just try to find a settle moment where you just relax. We're trying to just open and release. Find trust right here. Trust, 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 trust to release. And then from there, we're going to slowly come up. So there's not really a easy, easy way to come out from here. So you're just gonna make your best to pull those legs in close one at a time. And then return yourself to shell pose. So here, knees together. Exhale, feel yourself relax down over the legs. Notice your back, relax your back. Not testing on your back, just settle. Give you that moment to recover. And now I'll have you take those legs out into the straddle to the side. So this is where you could use a pillow to sit on and have your hips higher so those legs can go off to the side, okay? Now you can, once you're there, you can lift the hips and scoop them closer and try to keep your feet from not moving just as far as you can in that position. And then I want you to slowly here shift your weight to the side let your right, uh, left arm here move over to the right. So flexing the toes, finding create that side space. 
the left hip will stay as you reach, exhale, and then you come back to do the other side. The left hip, sorry, right hip here, stay, sorry. You're going to the left, right arm, up and over. And then we're gonna start moving slightly forward. And again, add those props as much as you need to, to go into that four fold. And it's not something that comes uh, naturally right away, not if you've never done this before, but with practice, like anything else, your body adapts and your body will slowly give in more and more into the stretch. So again, use the pillows to sit on if you need to, add the props for your elbows to give you support, maybe for the head as you're going lower. Nice inhale, nice long exhale. And you might find that you're right here in the stretch and you're just trying to let your um, sitting bones back. And also what may help is you're taking the thighs and creating this internal rotation so you can slowly fold and forward with more ease. And every day is different. Some days you might find that you can go a little bit deeper. Some days you'll find that it's it's not going so easily. <laughs> so whatever it is, just go with the flow. Go wherever you can go without any judgment. All is good. So you're gonna slowly now have you come up and sit back to bring the legs in. We are going to lay again on your back. So, as you go to the back, you're going to gently roll, make your way down and roll it down. You can hold on to the legs as you make your way, support it. And once you find yourself laying down, bring both knees into the chest, snack them close and draw your shoulders down. Rock side to side. And as you take now both feet down, I want you to bring your feet wider than your mat and bring both knees and knock them inward and let one go in more than the other. Just know now that we're creating that internal rotation so the leg is pivoting in as the left leg still staying in the same place but you're drawing the right leg down. If this is something that's harder, you can also take the left leg on top and inviting the right knee to go down a little bit more. So you might find that gives you a good support as you try to keep the right hip here from not going. Keeping the right hip full just right where it is. And then we do the other. So we take the left leg in, the right leg stays in. And you might feel like you need to get that support so the right leg goes on top and helps the left leg to go down. And feel the vinyl here supporting the back. Left hip trying to stay in the same exact spot as the left knee comes inward. And kicking back in. Now we're going to slowly here adjust those hips, move a little bit side to side, and then let the legs go all the way down. Feet turn out and just let your feet now rotate in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Just noticing here how your hips feel. How do they feel right now? Hopefully much more open. Exhale. Just let your whole body there settle. Letting the gravity here take over as we are now in Savasana pose. Just noticing here your legs light free. And if you like to cover your eyes, you might do that for your sabasava. So it can be like a little eye pillow and put it over your eyes. 
and just feel yourself there completely relax and if you like a little aromatherapy at home you could be doing your practice with some lavender oil drops or if you like incense incense like The little oil drops through the mat or even on the subject that you're using to cover your eyes like an eye pillow or a towel and just now noticing yourself surrender feel your whole body here present giving this moment to rejuvenate to take in Letting go, letting go, letting go. Nothing is perfect. What matters is that you are doing your best. And right now you're doing your, the best by just being right here, right now. Allowing yourself to find peace within you, within the world. Letting go of any negativity thought or any negativity energy. No, thank you. Invite here peace, love, You could take your time or if you like to stay in your savasana for a longer time, you may stay. But I will end our practice right now. Shanti Shanti, peace, peace, namaste. The light in me bounds and honors the light within you. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. That will finish our practice here. I hope your hips will feel much more open and relaxed for the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. I'll see you soon either here or through the JCA. Bye.